Hello witches and warlocks, welcome back to my channel. So nice to see you again. So, um, I am here to do another unboxing. I do apologize about the hair, um, only I washed it today and uh, it's my day off, so I haven't done anything with it. Um, I haven't started it or nothing. So this is my natural hair, um, my natural gray hair anyway. Um, so yeah, so I ignore, because I will be playing with it all the way through because I can't stand it in my eyes. So anyway, um, I've got another unboxing. This is Freya's Cauldron. It comes in this little baggie like this, um, and it's totally, the only thing on it is your address. So if you are in the broom closet, then it's not going to affect you at all. Um, so yes, this is uh, Freya's Cauldron. It's an English based box. Cannot remember for the life of me how much I pay for this, but I know it's not that much. Um, so yeah, so it comes in a brown box like this. Do it completely plain. And then you guys will get that first look. Now this is always a difficult one to open. I always like Freya's Cauldron. It's always a nice one. So um, it comes just like this. So it doesn't really have much of a, in a way of a color theme. Um, like um, for instance, which casket does. Um, but it does always send seem to be quite you know natural um coloring and also we have a few purples thrown in as well this is a little card they always tell you about how they plant trees for all the boxes we get they get a percentage that plants trees oh, i knew i was going to regret not doing my hair right so on top i'm going to uh, put this down here is all the information now i can't remember what um this theme is so I'm gonna have a look for you quickly um, oh it looks like the element of water possibly could that be the case um, I'm just gonna double check because um, this is a bit of a spoiler as well yep that's the page um, yeah I think it's I think it's the element of water I think it's a water box so which is cool because you know me and my elements, I am a big, big fan. So we have this, here's a little envelope, it's got Bray's Cauldron on it. And this usually, we, we didn't get one last month and usually they are like little cards um, or, you know, like paper that says what um, the holiday of it was. So like, for instance, we didn't get a Beltane one. Um, but we did get an Ostara and the others, so um, I'm wondering what this one is. So this, ooh. so it's just the envelope. There's this little thing in there, plain on one side, but it says water. So it's basically a page for your Book of Shadows, I do assume, or if you want to put it on your altar, I guess. Um, this is the first time they've ever actually done something for the elements like this that I've seen. So um, it's basically is all the breakdowns of water. Um, so the uh, direction, the color, energies, altar items, gods and goddess, crystals, herbs, spells, and places, all to do with water. So yeah, so um, it's a breakdown of the uh, different aspects of water, which is cool. Um, and I'm going to kick myself because I can't actually remember the name of how you describe it. Um, I, I, all I've got in my head is divination, and that's not the word. Um, so, yeah, it's just the, the correspondence. That's the one I was looking for, correspondence. Um, okay, so that's uh, what's in the envelope, correspondence water. Then we have a ritual. So we usually get about two rituals in here. It's either a ritual or two spells of some sort. So um, we got Freya's Cauldron Releasing Ritual, um, which is awesome. So let's have a look what's inside. Okay. Again, they tend to put everything in paper, so it's pretty much um, recyclable. Okay, so it's a releasing ritual. Um, it's got all the information on there. And it's got a blue candle. Now, it seems like there's not much in there. But usually with Freya's Cauldron, they don't always put everything you need in here. 
they usually put it in the box. They don't necessarily put it with the spell. So potentially every single item in this box may be used in your spells. So, you know, if they put an oil in, it's because you need to anoint the candle with it or something along that lines. Okay, so we got another little purple bag. This one's um, Freya's Cauldron's Drowning, um, Drawing Down, sorry, Drawing, Drowning, Drawing Down the Moon Ritual. So this is another ritual. So this is a Drawing Down the Moon. Uh, this is quite a common one, actually, because I think I've actually done one of these before. Um, not necessarily with you know, with them, but I have done a ritual to draw down the moon before. Okay, so we got this little card, which I'm assuming you put on your altar to represent. So, like, whenever you um, do, like, a ritual, for instance, um, or a spell, anything that you can put on your altar that helps you represent what you're asking for or what you're doing is is good especially when you're first starting out because visualization is um, one of those things that you have to do when you're doing a spell um, and for people who are new to it it's hard to do to visualize like um, especially if you're not used to meditation or you know so that's why people tend to have a lot of tools because the tools help you to visualize what's happening in during the spell so having visual visuals on your altar at the time of the spell helps you to remember what you're doing and helps you have a visual um feeling of what you're actually achieving okay it does help sometimes so yeah so that's what you do for the ritual and then again it just has a white candle which is standard really um again there may be other stuff in here we need to finish off the ritual. Okay, so um, then we have this little brown bag or envelope. And it says, Freya's Cauldron, the moon made me do it plaque. Okay. Now, they do tend to put a lot of auto stuff in here, which I like. Um, like this, They've done something similar to this before. And it's for Christmas and add snowmen on it for your tree. But this you can hang up on your altar um, or anywhere you like, really. And it says, it's not my fault. The moon made me do it, <laughs> which is quite ironic because the moon actually does control us, oddly enough. Um, and that's scientific. That's not even that's not even like witchcraft. That's scientific. It's scientifically proven. Our bodies are made up of a lot of water. I think it's about 95% water or 90% water, if I can remember rightly. Um, I did biology at school. I've got a degree in it. Um, so I should know that. Um, but yeah, our bodies are made up about 90 to 95% water. Um, and the moon controls the tides, also controls anything fluid. Um, so it controls us too. So yeah, so that's why um, the moon is such a big thing for us. Full moons are meant to make you go a bit crazy. Um, okay, so then we've got Magical Herb Blend Element Moon. And, oh, so Elemental Moon, not for consumption. Okay, so they must have something in here that we don't particularly want to eat. Um, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's poisonous. Just doesn't, and you're not meant to eat it. I mean, it could be poisonous stuff in there, you never know, but they never tend to. It's a bit dangerous to send poisonous herbs and stuff. I don't think you're actually allowed to do it. Um, there are poisonous herbs all over the place, but I don't think there is any in here. But it's just to let you know you can't consume it. It's not a tea or anything. So it's a magical herb blend, elemental moon. Okay. And obviously, I know what you're thinking. It's a water box. Again, it's the moon. It controls the water and the tide. So it all makes sense, guys. And then we got hops. Which, which we make beer out of or... Is it beer or lager? I can't remember which one, but in Britain it's quite a big thing <laughs> to make to have hops, and they all stink. I they are such a smelly herb, like or then so it's hops, and they grow in fields all over the place in England. That's how we make our alcohol or beer. Um, okay, so then we have this little bad boy. Now I always enjoy this because I. As you know, I'm not a fan of nexuses unless they're done right and they're on like chains. But I couldn't think the other day, guys, and someone on here gave me 
uh, a jog jog my memory. Um, so I was thinking of like chains and stuff, and they are quite expensive. Like obviously, I'm not expecting a silver chain, but there are you can get sterling silver or stainless stainless steel. Um, sorry, not sterling silver. That's not what I meant. Stainless steel is what I meant. Um, so stainless steel uh, means that you can wear it. It won't go off colour at all. It won't go green or it won't go brownish, which all cheap metals do if you wear them enough because obviously the moisture and the, and the sweat in your your nut body naturally makes when you wear stuff um, breaks down the enzymes in, in the metals and it causes it to rust and go off colour and go black and horrible. Um, however... If you use stainless steel, which is very cheap, it's not exactly expensive, um, it's perfect and it looks nice. So yeah, stainless steel, way to go. We got this um, little bracelet, which I love. It's a nice color blue. It's like a, like a navy blue, I guess. Um, I suppose to represent the water, um, which is cool. It's quite an aquatic stone by looks thing and we'll find out what that stone is at the end but I prefer these I, I do actually wear these I've got quite a few now and I haven't got I don't think I've bought a blue one so I definitely got a reddish pinky one and a and a green one which I wear regularly um but yeah I don't actually have a blue now I do um and then we got our corresponding candles for water which obviously you've got your dark blue, your light blue, your white, your black, and your orange, or your red. Um, so they're great little candles. And again, I can't remember, I think it's only really now, Freya's Cauldron that gives us candles anymore. I can't remember the last time I actually got any like good candles from any of the other boxes. Um, and believe it or not, they're a staple of what we do. So, I mean... Be nice to have a few more candles again. Um, Witch Casket used to do them all the time. You used to get at least two tall candles every time or a box of candles. Um, they don't tend to do them anymore. Um, but see, the problem is there's too many people out there complain about everything. I mean, yes, I know. <laughs> I complained about jewellery. But that is purely because, guys, I don't... I'm, I'm a lad and, you know, there's only certain jewellery we can wear. Um, and these boxes aren't exactly designed for men. Um, there is a box, however, out there designed for men, um, which really annoys me because it's, it's you, you only get it every four months or every two months, something like that. And it's an American one again. So, yeah. Um, so when we do have jewellery, it's nice to have something that I can wear. Um, but yeah, people complain that we get too many candles and stuff like that. Like, oh. But they are a staple. Um, there was a little thing as well. People were moaning at Witch Casket about putting incense in their boxes all the time. I'm like, well, you're, if you're a witch, we use incense all the time. Like, all the time. Just don't moan about the stuff we want. Um, moan about stuff that we don't want. So yeah, so some candles. Can't complain, really. I love a good candle, especially if they represent the elements. Okay, big stones. We always get really big stones with these guys. So this is a tumble stone. I do recognise this stone. Totally recognise it, but I cannot think for the life of me what it's called. I've had this stone before, I'm sure. Um, the design seems very familiar. It's almost mahogany. Like, it almost looks like wood, but it's not. But it's very shiny. And very nice. It's a rolled stone. It's very heavy and it's very big. I'm going to struggle getting that in my um, <laughs> display thing. So, uh, yeah. Um, so, that's the stone of the month. Okay, so that's what we got in here. So, we've got this little black baggie. And I always collect these baggies. So, if once I use the item in it and or I store the item somewhere else, then I, um, I actually then use the baggies for it. That, oh, look at that. Isn't that cool? I like that so much. Look at that. It's a bit shiny, so you can't see. So it's a little, like, offering bowl of some sort um, with water written on it and the symbol for water. I'm not, I'm not sure what this is. Like, it could be stainless steel. I don't know. 
but it's very nice, whatever it is. It's quite weighty. Good little thing for your auto. If they start doing these, I'm excited because I'm hoping they do these. If they're starting with water, then hopefully we're going to get one of these every month. And by the end of it, we'll have all of them. Like all the four elements plus spirit, maybe. So that's cool. I like that. You know me and my elements. I love my elements. And I live by the sea, so I'm such a water baby. Even though I'm a fire sign. Okay, then we got our essential oil. I think it's essential. I don't know if they call it. Um, so it says not for consumption or resell. Um, the power of water oil. So that's cool, isn't it? I don't know if it's an essential oil. We'll read about it. Um, let's have a little sniff. Okay. Smells a bit. Like, oh, it's like a bit like eucalyptus. A bit. Yeah, it's a bit, a bit like Vicks Vapor Rub. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so it's very strong. It'll clear your sinuses, definitely will. Um, it's very nice. We'll find out what's in it, um, I'm sure. Okay. <coughs> mm, then we've got um, this cute little thing. Um, it's another little bottle. It's a moon water bottle. Now I've got quite a few of these. But it's a cute little bottle, don't you think? Just a nice little one for your personal use. Maybe you could take it away with you. It's small enough to put in your bag. It's not going to be too conspicuous. I do have a moon water. I think I've got two moon water bottles now. But this is the third. Um, but that is cool. It's cute. I like it. It's small and it's the design I like, glass with a cork, that's the design of my entire collection. So I either like my stuff to be glass, um, because we know glass is a natural substance, and the cork is a natural substance. So, yeah, it goes with the rest of the design of my um, collection, because I do like that sort of woodish look. Okay, well that's cute. I think this might be the last thing in the box, maybe. Um, I do believe so. Yes, it is the last thing in the box. Right, so um, we got Freya's Cauldron, Witchcraft Imperium. Can never, can never say that word. Um, it's hard to show on here. Can you see it, guys? I don't know. There we go. Got a little less shine on it. Um, I can't see it, but maybe you guys can. Um, but it's there. Uh, it's that's where it's really cool. That and it says on here, Freya's Cauldron Moon Powder Auto Salt. Okay, watch this go everywhere now. I'm gonna do it over the box because I've shaken this up loads. Yeah, it's gonna go everywhere. Ooh. Oh God. Oh. Okay. So it looks just like that. I'm not going to tip it too much, but it's got like little resins in it and salt. Doesn't really have much of a smell, but then salt never does, I'm assuming. But obviously, salt is a big part of water magic because salt comes from the sea. That's how we make salt by drying out the ocean. <laughs> um, and then you're left with salt. So that's cool. That's cute. I like that for your ritual. I'm assuming you will need that for the ritual. Okay, right, so that is everything in the box. Um, we're gonna find out what it's all about. So um, let's go. So it says, hello and welcome to May's Spellkeeper's Chest. So that's what they call this Spellkeeper's Chest. Okay, um, but it's from Freya's Cauldron. Okay, so it's like when we get um, Cures and Curses, it's called a Secret Satchel. This one's called the Keeper's Chest. Okay, this month we have a wonderful collection of goodies, all linked to the element of water, and of course the moon, which has a great effect on the water in our um, world. We hope you will enjoy this month's collection. Okay, so we first of all um, have the power of water, Candle dressing oil. So like I said, this oil is for dressing the candle in our ritual, which is why we always get an oil. Um, okay, so it says, this month's oil has been created just for this month's box and with any of 
my candle dressing oils as I make all of my oils just for spell work. I would always advise doing a skin test if you wish to use them as anointing oils for yourself, just as you would when trying any new pr product on your skin. So it doesn't tell you what's in the oil, which to be honest with you, I wasn't expecting because it's our own personal one. Um, okay, so then we got Freya's Colgen Spell Candles. They make these on site as well. So that's they're their own candles. They make them themselves. This month's um this month's oh sorry our wonderful range of spell candles are made here in the uk exclusively for Freya's cauldron to my own specific um i'll put my teeth back in i do apologize to my own i can't say it you know what i mean to ensure that the power um, and energy to your work. I am extremely proud of my range of spell candles. This month we have royal blue, pale blue, black, orange, and white. Here are some of the associations of each color. So royal blue, peace, harmony, um, truthfulness, sleep, dream work, um, patience, wisdom, friendship, and tranquility. Pale blue, water, magic, the sea, um, calmness, peace and cleansing, white goddess, peace, protection, security, truth, um, purification, happiness, moon magic, spirit, um, spiritually strength, cleansing, black absorbing, negative, rest, resting, banishing, um, mourning, loss, crone ma magic, protection and um, getting rid of hexes. Um, so then... We go on to, it doesn't mention the orange one in there. They've missed the orange one off. Okay, not a problem. You can always find out what orange is for, guys. Mainly used around Halloween time um, or Samhain. Okay. Um, oh, no, that, sorry, I do apologise. It's me that's missed the orange one, not them. I skipped the orange one, went straight to Royal Blue. Orange kindness. Orange means kindness, intelligence, um, enthusiasm, attraction, luck, self-control, Organization, strength, intelligent, and mental clarity. I'm not with it today, guys. I do apologize. It's my day off. I sort of switch off on my day off because I've got an awful lot of work to do. So, um, yeah, so I've, even though I've got three days off now, I actually don't have three days off. I have, um, I have a, I have given myself a day off today, but my next two days are purely for making sure I know what I'm doing before I go back to work on Monday. Okay, so the next one is herb. Our herb of this month is hops, and as usual, an info sheet is included. Okay, so that's fine. So we got the hops just there, and then we do have, like they said, a little info sheet all about hops. So it's two sided, and it shows you the hops there, which is always cool because. What I will tend to do is when I do a page um, for my book of shadows, um, I will cut this out, use the information or some of the information. Obviously, in my own words, I won't directly steal it from here because what's the point? If it's your book, you need to put your own wording. But this does give me the information about hop so I can reword it myself so I can understand it for my book. But in the hops um, is... Um, it has... Common names, hops, um, Piju Ho, and beer flower. Um, planet is moon, and the element is water. That's why they used it. Okay, so yeah, so it's a great little uh, thing all about hops. Okay, so the next thing we have is our herb blend, which is this one, which is our elemental moon. Um, a hand-blended collection of herbs chosen for their association with the elements of water and the moon. Okay, the crystal. The crystal this month. And um, where's he gone? There he is. I'm stood on him. Okay, I do apologize. So, there we go. That's the crystal. And it is, our crystal of the, this month is the wonderful Tiger Iron or Mugglestone. Mugglestone. <laughs> that's quite cool 
um, in the Harry Potter world, Muggle is a non-witchy person, which is quite ironic. Okay, but um, I have a friend called Martin Muggleston as well. So, yes, so this is a tiger iron, and I know I definitely have got a tiger's iron. So, I don't physically have to actually put that one in my display because I already have one in there. So, what I do is I usually just keep them to one side in their baggies, in a little, like, bowl. Um, bowl. So, I can either use it for a ritual or I can use it to put into another bag, and then I always have one available. Um, so, it's, it's always nice to have double ones doubled up okay jewelry item that we have um this i'm assuming they mean um we have chosen a stunning chunky gemstone chip bracelet for you this month we have fluorite fluorite amethyst and lapis lazuli gemstones to which one will you which one will you get Okay, that doesn't help me at all. Okay, so um, let's have a think. So um, could it be fluorite? It's not amethyst, because that's not amethyst, is it? So, and lapis lapsuli, I don't think looks like that. I could be wrong. I do have a, a, lapis, lap, a lapis lapsuli, I'd have to check, but I'm thinking fluorite, maybe. Am I wrong, guys? Write in the comments what your guess will be, or if you know for certain, is it fluorite or is it lapis lazuli? Because I'm gonna double check anyway, because <laughs> I have a lapis lazuli. Lapis lazuli. Um, so yeah, I do have one of those. So I will check, I don't think I have a fluorite. Um, so that could be, I'm, I'm thinking fluorite. I'm going with that one, guys. So tell me if I'm wrong. Okay, um, spell kits. So we got two spell kits. Um, so this month we have two spells for you. The first is Drawing the Moon Down, Moon Ritual. So that one there. Yes, we have that. And it says on here, Drawing the Moon Down Ritual. And the second is Releasing Ritual, which I've actually done before, a Releasing Ritual. Um, it's one of my first spells, in fact. Um, as usual, Mel will be doing a walkthrough of how to do the spells in the next couple of weeks on our YouTube channel. I did not know that they had a YouTube channel. I need to check this out. Um, I probably have checked Freya's Cauldron out, but I usually go to the unboxings. I didn't realise that, that Freya's Cauldron actually have one, so I'll have to check that out um, to see how they do those rituals. So yeah, I will have a check that one out. Um, then we have a, a okay, a water bowl they're calling it. Pu, pu, purita. I want to say purita water altar bowl. This it this stunning bowl is perfect. This one here, guys, um, is. Perfect for your altar and will be part of a full set of five element bowls. Yes, yes, Freya's Cauldron, yes. Um, okay, five element bowls, which will be appearing in future boxes. Yes, yes, yes. I hope they do them in, in, you know, in a row. I hope they, from now, this, this point now, I hope they don't, like, miss months. Because I, I can't stand to wait. I just want each of them to be each month out. So the next one may be fire, you know, earth or air or spirit. Because um, it does frustrate me if they put stuff in between. I wouldn't like that. <laughs> I'm just one of these people. If once, it's, once there's a set come in, I want the full set. Okay. Because um, I still need to get the full set of the altar bowls, which they did for the holidays. But apparently they are bringing them onto their website, into their shop. So I'm going to have a look. To see if that is the case. Okay, so that is a stunning bowl. I do like that. You know, we I love anything to do with elements. I'm an elemental witch, as I always say on this channel, if you know me well. Um, okay, so I do apologise, guys. I'm getting over a cold. And um, I'm sort of hoping I get over it before my next injection. My, sec my second injection. Because I don't want anything holding that back. Um, okay, so. Moon and cauldron. Cauldron? 
cauldron plaque here. Okay, so moon cauldron plaque. So it's this this plaque that we got, the one with the cauldron on it. Another fun item for you to colour and decorate, created by Graham. Well done, Graham. He's the one that does the um, altar bowls that I love so much, and I need them all, Graham. So get on it, Master. I want them all. <laughs> okay, I need to email them actually. Um, when I get a bit more money, and I can afford it. Okay, and then we got um, Water Book of Shadows, um, Book of Shadows card, which I'm assuming is this one. These are awesome. Ideal for putting on your water as well if you're going to do a water spell. Um, the correspondence there of all water sign, which I think is perfect. Um, you can always add to your book of shadows. Um, I might add it to the inside of my book of shadows, or I'm, what I might do, I usually do. I mean, it's colourful and it's beautiful. I just wish these were A4. If they were A4, I'd be so happy because then I just redo them in colour. On uh, on my on a thingy page, but I can maybe scan it, expand it, and then put it on a page. Would that be wrong? I mean, I bought it. It's mine to do what? what yeah, I'll scan it, scan it, expand it, put it on a book a shadows page because it is quite cute, I guess. I probably would have done something different with the border, like I have with mine. Who knows? I might. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. Anyway, so getting off subject, Mikey, as always, um, a wonderful card for your Book of Shadows and created for us by Louise of Cat Mad Gifts. This will also be part of a set of five cards coming in future boxes. Yes, so excited. I do love... I do love a set of stuff. I'm such a hoarder. Um, <laughs> I love a set. I love a set. I love like I'm that sort of kid that when I was a, when I was younger, I would collect every card going. Like I would, you know, when I was a kid, it was pa Cabbage Patch Kids or Garbage Pail Kids. I don't know if you have them. I think you had them in America because you must have done because um, we. It was an American movie that I saw, I mean, I was too young for, to watch it, to be honest with you, because it was disgusting. But um, it, it was called The Garbage Pail Kids. It was sort of a rip-off of the Cabbage Patch Kids, but, like, disgusting versions of them. Um, it was a very naughty film, and I should not have been watching it, but my mum, I guess, didn't really know what it was about. Um, but I, lo I looked it up the other day, and, um, and I watched it back, and, oh, my God, it was the most awful film. I should not have been watching it. No wonder I was screwed up as a kid. So, yeah, so... Um, that's our little auto card, um, or your book of shadows card, as I said. Um, anyway, moon power auto sort. Perfect, stunning little tin, though, isn't it? I love the tin. So nice. Um, okay. Um, so that is a wonderful tin of auto sort created with a few different sorts, including sea sorts and Himalayan sorts, rosemary herb. Couldn't smell the rosemary. Um, use on your altar to connect to the power of the moon. The tin is reusable and recyclable. Of course it is, and I will be doing that. So, um, moon water, the moon water bottle, which is very cute and tiny and nice. Um, and, and it says, so anyway, it says a really cute <laughs> glass bottle and cork, ideal for your own moon water. Okay, well, that is it for another month. As we can see, as you can see, we have more items than usual in this box as we kept finding bits we wanted to include. And with that, I will leave you to enjoy the goodies. See you next month. Blessings, Freya. Okay, so as well as that, we obviously have the Tiger's Eye um, correspondence. So it tells us all about the tiger's eye. And it says on here, energy is protective, star signs, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, and Virgo. Um, it says planet is Mars or the moon. Elements are fire, earth, and water. Chakra, solar plexus, root, scale. 
scale, scale, scale. I don't know. Anyway, there's a lot of information about the stone there. Then we've got the drawing down the magic little sheet, and of course the element of water correspondence as well. Okay, so that is packed full of information, as always, and obviously as always, the box is packed full of goodies. So I mean that. I mean, they've gone over and above themselves this month. I mean, you know me, guys. I get very excited about. I get very excited about any elemental magic thing. I get so excited. So I cannot wait to get my hands on this stuff and start playing. Um, I'm so looking forward to the fact that we've got fire, earth, air, and spirit to come. I'm so excited. Um, I just love an elemental box. I love it, love it, love it. My net, my other than elemental box, so anything to do with earth, air, fire, water, and spirit, or a holiday, one of our holidays like Beltane, Yule, you know, um, Samhain, you name it. I love them. Um, so any boxes that are them, I'm guaranteed to get it. So if you put an elemental box out, or if you put um, even a folk magic one out, I'll buy it. Um, so yeah, so I'm I'm sort of prone to those sort of boxes. I just love them so much. Moon magic. I'm a I'm a sucker for moon magic as well. Um, so any anything to do with the elements and anything to do with the holidays, I will buy it. Um, as long as it's a good box, obviously. I'm not going to buy any old boxes. We know. Um, so yeah, that was a phrase cauldron. What do you think? Did you like it? Did you not? Who knows? I mean, what's not to like about it? It was a great box, full of all little goodies. I mean, Freya's Cauldron, Freya's Cauldron's always a good box. It hasn't let me down just yet. And to be honest with you, it's, I'm just a sucker for collecting stuff. So if I've got to find those other things, they had these plaques as well that I saw um, before I started getting them. And I was like, I wish I'd got them because it would have been so cool to put on my altar. I love stuff to go on my altar. Um, so yeah, um, watch the space for more unboxing guys. Um, I'm looking forward to the next Freya's Cauldron now. Can't, cannot wait. Um, I have to remember, I think I automatically get Freya's Cauldron. I think it just comes out naturally. Um, I have to double check that. There are, there is, I think it's only really now Cures and Curses that I have to remember to, I have to remember to re renew. So every time I do an unboxing of um, Cures and Curses, I go online and double check to see what the next one is. And then if I want it, I'll buy it. Um, but yeah, I think these ones automatically come out. Um, but again, as I was saying, there's going to be a time when I'm going to have to give one of them up. <laughs> um, I don't know when that's going to happen, but I, one of them has to go um, because I need to buy a car. Um, so anyway, yes, that was Freya's Cauldron. Tell me what you think down in the comments. Let me know what you thought. Um, again, I do try and comment as much as I can, guys, but obviously I'm back at work now, so I can't always get to you all straight away but i will get to you eventually um i'd like to thank all my subscribers thank you very much for subscribing you are wonderful people i love you all and even if you don't comment i love you and i love obviously i love all the guys that all your all your lovely comments that you send me i get very very um <laughs> very embarrassed and very and i blush lots reading some of them um <laughs> so i don't think i i don't think i've been called um handsome or cute for a very long time but it's very nice to hear it so um also if you do like my videos give me a thumbs up guys because obviously the more youtube know about me the more that they're going to get me out there for everyone to see and the more people we can add to our lovely little group of witches and warlocks on my channel um also hit that little bell notification that will give you a little ping to tell you when my video goes up and you won't miss out um because that would be awful, wouldn't it? <laughs> so anyway, um, that is all I've got to say, guys. Thank you very much. And if this is the first time you're watching me, um, thank you very much. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I've got loads of stuff on my channel for you to watch. Um, and it's all free of charge. So just binge, binge away. Um, so thank you very much. Um, I will see you guys at the next unboxing. Remember, you be you and blessed be.